From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Well, we had a hard time clearing things out along the coast, looking at the mostly cloudy skies. I think we're going to see the same again here for today. Uh, and it looks like the heat wave for the inland areas, we're halfway through. All right, we've made it halfway through the heat wave. Let's get through the second half of that heat wave today together. And then by the time we get into tomorrow and really next week, temperatures should start to drop. So again, not as hot next week and no major heat waves looking down the pike either. So it looks like uh, uh, the heat wave that we're experiencing now will become a thing of the past for a, a short while here. There you can, of course, see the temperatures dropping back down to about 100 degrees for Weaverville by Monday, and then mainly in the upper 90s after that as we go through next week. Now, hour by hour through the day today, yes, still about 100 degrees or slightly higher for the inland areas, obviously much cooler for the coast with temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Hour by hour, Trinity County, different story, much hotter, about 106 degrees for Weaverville, 105 in Hayfork and Lewiston, a high of about 106 degrees. So that heat, it's migrating back down to the south and east, and that's why those temperatures will drop. And as long as we have these troughs of low pressure and the cooler air associated with them, they will continue to prevent this heat from building in as strong as it could. Now, it is expected to get a little bit stronger and kind of build off to our east, but it's going to stay to our east because of this right here. We've got this one kind of moving out, but then another one kind of swinging back around that one, keeping this heat at bay and preventing the inland areas and Trinity County from getting too terribly hot. Let's take you into this afternoon and evening, still looking at most of cloudy skies along the coast. Notice the dry conditions and a few high clouds filtering through through the day today. Now notice, this is kind of interesting, as we go into Monday, this is late tonight, early tomorrow morning, we've got some monsoon moisture that's going to be kind of streaming on in. Now, as it stands right now, it looks like the bulk of that monsoon moisture will be off to the south and east, even of Trinity County. However, you'll notice Trinity County is on the very western fringe of that flow. This is kind of moving in this direction here. There's a chance that it could come as far west as Weaverville, Hayfork, maybe even Trinity Center. Those chances are going to be much higher, though, as you head east of those areas. So there is a slight chance we could see some activity late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But then you can see as we go to tomorrow morning, it's all gone, even for the valley, not to mention the eastern mountains here, but still that fog out along the coast. Monday afternoon, still sunny skies for the inland areas and for the mountains, but we still got those clouds out along the coast. Let's take a look at those wave heights because as we go through the day today, they're not going to change a whole lot. They're generally going to be between eight and nine feet as you kind of start heading out. So uh, good, good to know if you're a boater or a fisherman, but look at this by Monday, we actually may see those those wave heights drop a little. Not by a lot, but they're dropping just a tad. Here you can see if you're heading out to the Trinity County Fair in Hayfork, still about 105, 106. And then of course the fair will be over by Monday, Tuesday, but there's that drop in those temperatures come Monday, Tuesday of next week. All right, here's your forecast for your Sunday. Yeah, there's the hot conditions we do have uh, for Trinity County. 106 for Weaverville, 105 in Hayfork, about 98 for Ruth, 104 in Trinity Center. And how about the inland areas? Not quite as hot, but still a little over 100 degrees and much cooler along the coast with those temperatures in the mid 60s. So there you can see around 100 degrees or higher for Hoopa and Weaverville. Temperatures dropping though by Monday and then kind of hovering in the low to mid 90s for Hoopa and the inland areas in general. And for Trinity County, Weaverville, Hayfork, for example, you'll be looking at temperatures in the upper 90s through next week. But Crescent City, partly the mostly cloudy skies, low to mid 60s. That's pretty much the case for Eureka as well. We're down about 62 degrees by Tuesday, 61 Wednesday, low to mid 60s for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday.